Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I created this hair for a little Insta video, which I'm not sure if I've put up yet or not. And I slapped myself with this hair and so many of you guys asked me to create a proper tutorial showing you how I created this very glam Hollywood-esque kind of curl and hair. So that's basically what I'm gonna show you. It's super easy. I promise you it looks complicated right now, but it's very, very easy to do. And it actually doesn't take that long either. So if you wanna know how I created this, then please keep on watching. Right, first things first, I'm going to take this awful head of hair down and I'm going to give it a brush. You can use a tangle teaser, whatever brush you want. I'm just using a Lee Stafford uh, paddle brush. Just want to get all the knots out of my hair. I do have really knotty hair, so I have to brush everything out before I start. Whenever you're curling your hair, you always want to take it in sections. So I just like to take the bottom section first. And to curl my hair, I'm using the Numi 25 millimeter curling wand. It looks like this. The barrel is the same size the whole way through. It does come with a glove, but I'm gonna risk it. I literally just like to part my hair in two sections. And then literally all I'm gonna do is take my hair in different size sections. I'm going to wrap it around the wand and make sure you get the ends in. That's why it's so important to wear the gloves. But me, I'm so used to doing this, um, I'm okay. You just wanna hold it there for a few seconds and then voila, look at that, look at that. Obviously we're not gonna leave it like that, but that is such a good curl. Hollywood curls are kind of all done in one direction um, and they look kind of more done, but I would do that more at the top, but um, at the bottom, I like my hair to be going in different directions. It just looks so much nicer. So in this section, I'm gonna go back in on itself. So taking it in another direction again. You literally just wanna hold it for a few seconds and then... So we have proper smooth curls here. Right, so I've done this side as well. Now I'm just gonna take the next section. I literally just do it with my thumb, a little bit higher onto my head. Just clip the rest of this out of the way with one of these little crocodile crip, crips, <laughs> clips. And then again, just part it in the middle of my hair. And then you can clearly see where the straight bits are. Now, the reason why my hair is like kind of straight, kinked and whatever, is because I washed my hair. You guys know what my hair naturally looks like. It's quite wavy and curly, but in order for me to achieve this kind of hair, what I do is I wash it and I blow dry it as normal. And then I just give it a once over with straighteners just to eliminate any frizz and smooth out the hair. And then that's when you can go ahead and curl it with a wand. Always the first section towards like the closest to my face. I always like to make this one the most volumin voluminous. Can't say that word. I always curl it inwards. It just gives it like loads of volume at the root. The reason why it's so important to catch the ends is because again, just gives it more of a natural feel rather than having like beautiful curls. See that volume guys? Can you see that volume? Obviously it's not gonna stay like that, but that's mad volume. Yeah, if you have like beautiful curls and then the end is just like that straight like that, it just looks stupid. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it. This particular one doesn't have any other heat setting. I think this one goes up to 210 degrees, which is quite hot. And that's why you're able to get like a really beautiful curl really quickly. If you wanted to, you could pin curl this as well, but my hair holds curls very, very well, so I don't really need to do that. If your hair is the type of hair that tends to fall out, I would definitely recommend pin curling it. show you what I like to do with this last section here. I really like it when your hair falls to one side and you get loads of volume and it just looks even more glam. So I've got my hair going to this side. This is where my parting is. Instead of just curling like this whole section in one go, I'm going to just split it in two. So I'm just going to create like a middle parting. It's literally just rough. I'm going to curl my hair around this barrel. And I'm going to start only taking it in the same direction and then I'm just going to let it go and at the front 
I'm kind of curling it forward, if that makes sense, but I'm doing it inwards. I really hope I'm explaining this properly, guys. I'm not a hair expert, I do makeup. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this section back over. You want loads of volume at the root of the hair, so that's why I'm kind of doing it above and at the back of my head, so that this bit, oh, she's, so that the root of the hair has loads of volume. Okay, and then this last front section right in here, I'm going to take the barrel under and curl it inwards at the front of my head. And this is how we're going to get really big volume at the front. Look how bouncy my hair is, guys. <laughs> I feel like Goldilocks. So I'm just going to let the top of my hair cool. The bottom of it is all nice and like cooled down. Before I take this out and style it, I just want the heat to remain in my hair for as long as possible. So I'm just going to leave it to sit in this kind of position for as long as possible. Well, until my hair cools down, which shouldn't take too long at all. So my hair's cooled down and I'm going to brush out these curls with this L'Oreal Kerastase Elixir. It's a really nice lightweight oil for your hair, but it's not like a greasy oil. And I'm basically just going to run this through my hair, mid lengths to ends. I'm going to use my brush just to brush out these curls. Now I know you're like, uh, aren't you? Where the hell have your curls gone? Don't worry, don't worry. We can't do this. So you can see I've still got elixir on my hands. Just gonna run this through my hair and it just takes away that frizz and pulls it all together again. And now we haven't got such like tight, you know, like prom kind of curls. Now it looks a bit more glamorous like this. I'm just gonna give myself a further side parting now. And then I'm going to take this front bit of my hair on this side and I'm literally just going to tuck it behind my ear. So just using a normal Kirby grip, just behind my ear, I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, I'm just going to grip that in so that this looks nice and flat and smooth. So guys, here we have the finished glam Hollywood kind of curls. Very glam evening kind of hair and it honestly doesn't take too long to do at all. This one is freaking amazing. It literally gives you curls in no time at all. I really hope you like this. You can totally rock this hair on a date, to dinner with your girls, for an event, for a party, or if you just want to look glam every damn day, then why not? To make it look a little bit less extreme glam, you can just take this bit out and just have the curls down like that and it will still look beautiful. I really hope you like this video guys. Like I said, I'm not a hair expert, but I tried my best and this is how I create my really, really glam kind of Hollywood curls. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I might actually do more videos like this in the future. Comment down below with anything else you'd love to see from me and of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all of my social media. The links to everything will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye!